everyone, welcome back to Newcom's YouTube channel. We just unboxed the Rapu MT100 and now we're gonna review it. So I've been using this mouse for over one or two months now and uh, I've had some really good options from Rapu like the MT500 and the uh, MT200 Plus, uh, which is also a silent mouse. But I don't know, for some reason I just gravitated, uh, gravitated towards this one, the MT100, which is uh, cheaper than uh, all of those mice that I just uh, showed you. But there's just something about the design of it and its compactness and uh, that, I guess that's, that's pretty much it. That made me gravitate towards this one. Now of course, uh, prior to this I had a wired mouse, uh, which I also really liked, but uh, I think it was time for me to move to uh, a wireless mouse because, you know, my previous mouse was a gaming one and I'm not gaming really anymore, so it only made sense to go a little bit more minimal. So I went with this one, even though I had all these other options. I, I don't know, I guess it was the design or the, the compact nature of it. Uh, and I've been really happy with it. I'm actually using the Bluetooth mode of this mouse. The mouse also has a dongle, which houses very neatly right here, but uh, I felt like I didn't really need it. Uh, and of course, you know, I have a Mac mini and uh, every port counts. So I felt like I wanted to leave that uh, one USB port. The, the, there are two USB A ports and I wanted to leave it empty until it was like absolutely necessary, which it wasn't because there's this Bluetooth button here uh, that uh, changes uh, the connectivity option from uh, the dongle to the Bluetooth. So when you tap it once, uh, it changes uh, the connectivity. And when you hold it, it goes into Bluetooth pairing mode. And uh, it, it also shows up in your device as Bluetooth 3.0 and 4.0. So if you have a like an older laptop that only supports Bluetooth 3.0, you're also covered there. So that's definitely a nice touch. But yeah, uh, you, you use this button to switch through the the, the two modes and of course there's an on and off switch at the bottom too. It takes one AA battery which is included in the box. Great. Uh, so yeah, now let's get into the actual review of the mouse. Uh, the design, I mean you're seeing it right here. I think it looks really good. Uh, the, there's like a top, the, there's like a separate top layer. It's like it's cut out from the rest of the body which I think is a nice touch which combined with the, the bottom portion, which also looks like it's cut out from the base of the mouse, I feel like it gives it a little bit more character. Now there is this like tiny little seam here that I don't exactly appreciate, but you know, considering the price of the mouse, I feel like the, the build quality, the design is definitely on the better side of the spectrum. So that's the design of the scroll wheel is also rubber. And, you know, most scroll wheels are already this color and it matches with the rest of the body, so that's definitely great. Now, the only other thing that I that I need to mention about the design, which is not exactly a design thing, but is the clicks. So this mouse is, as the name suggests, silent. You didn't hear that, did you? I don't either. Okay, I, I did hear it, but, you know, I'm like right here. Uh, but anyways, yeah, the keys on this one are incredibly silent. Uh, and, you know, it might not be your cup of tea. Maybe you like a clicky mouse. If you're looking for that, well, maybe look elsewhere. But uh, I definitely appreciate uh, the, the silent nature of the mouse clicks. I like it, personally. Even though I'm a big fan of loud, clickety, clackety keyboards, I don't share the same sentiment about mice. So I definitely really like uh, the silent keystrokes on this mouse. And that's pretty much it about the design and even the functionality. Uh, the only other thing that I can say is that it's a very small mouse, so you can forget about using palm grip like this. You, you, you may be able to pull that off on a mouse as big as this one, even though this one is not even that much bigger. But yeah, uh, with this one, you're going to go for the claw grip. You know, you're, you're gripping the sides of the mouse with your thumb and your fingers, uh, the, the number three and four fingers. This is how I uh, refer to my fingers because I play the guitar and this is like finger number one, two, three, four. So you grip the mouse like this and you use your two fingers uh, for the keystrokes. Uh, and, um, you know, that's, 
I guess that's a preference more than anything if you like bigger mice or smaller mice. The smaller mouse definitely helps with the portability. But you know, some people like to grip the mouse with their entire palms, but you, you just can't do that unless you have very small hands. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. There's not much else to say about this mouse other than the fact that I, again, really like the design. It's portable. Uh, and you have the option to use Bluetooth if you have a couple of devices that you want to use this mouse with without skipping a beat. So you can have this connected to your tablet and also to your computer with a dongle. And whenever you want to switch, you just you know press this one button and you're good to go. So I will leave this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was the Rapu MT100 Silent. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Newcom's YouTube channel for more videos just like this. But until next time, take care and bye-bye.